Ultra Video Pirate T. Oi. AMD releases video drivers for a recent graphics card series, the Radeon Vega RX. So these drivers version 17.30.1051 are now available for download. There are some known issues with this software, however, but you know. Now these are for the Radeon Vega RX series graphics cards and they created this software Radeon software Crimson Relive Edition. Now these are the known issues. Radeon Wattman Overclock 3D Mark Fire Strike Hangs Radeon Settings Gaming Tab Reset. So they have an overclock issue, a hanging issue. Also HDMI intermittent signal loss problem and also Windows Media Player hangs. Now basically there's four different ways to download this software or install it if you have automatic updates already enabled. That is one way. Another way is to download from my links at my blog post at anetcomputers.com as I sound like a robot. I'm not going to hold your hand. All of the download links will be available in this video description to a link to a blog post at my website anetcomputers.com. Now it's not intended for use with Apple Bootcamp. If you are familiar with Apple Bootcamp, that's a way that you can boot microcrap, I mean I mean Microsoft operating systems within Apple. These drivers will not work with that. You will also need administrative rights to install this software, either the administrator account or a Windows account with administrative rights. Now, for whatever reason, this driver does not work with Windows 8. I'm not sure why Windows 8 is not supported, but according to the release notes that I read, that I took the time to read, Windows 8 is not supported. You could try, you could try with compatibility mode but if it fucks up your computer I'm not accepting blame that's what system restore is for but just caveat mTOR now the driver version is 17.30.1051 with the relive edition on the Windows Store the version number is 22.19.666666 interesting last three numbers now these drivers are specifically succinctly only for the Radeon RX Vega series both desktop and laptop both x86 32-bit and x64 64-bit what else now like I said there's four different ways if you have automatic updates it'll prompt you to install you know that there's different drivers you can also use advanced micro devices automatic detection tool you can download them from this link right here. There is both 64-bit for Windows 10, 64-bit for Windows 7. Right there. You can download them from that link. That also you can go to their automatic detection, which is I what I would recommend. Oh, that's the same link. I know I I know I linked to it. Here it is the automatic detection tool is pretty easy now this is a static link this never changes AMD advanced micro devices like a lot of tech companies have static links and they just update it whenever there are new drivers or new software available now you can use the automatic detection tool but I've had problems with this URL believe it or not so you might have to refresh just go to this link support.amd.com slash en dash us slash download I don't know why maybe it's my web browser it doesn't always work but as you can see here automatically detect and install your driver also there's a manual select your driver tool on the same page so that's the third uh, way to install and then obviously you can download either the 32-bit driver or 64-bit driver also from this link here, let me let me try one more time. I might have to use fucking Mozilla Firefox because I had this problem earlier. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with their website. Let me try Mozilla Firefox and then Vamanos. Come on. 
Come on, load. Mozilla Firefox is always slower than Google Chrome on my computer. Okay, so I don't give a shit. Okay, so here's the automatically detect and install your driver. All you do is click use this tool and it should automatically detect your operating system and what driver to download and install. There's also the manually select your driver. There's three steps. You have to select what type of graphics card you have or what kind of product. And then you have to choose the family. Once you choose one of these, you have to choose a family. And then it just keeps going more specific and specific. And then finally, you would select the operating system. Also, there are two download links here. There are There's a 64-bit for Windows 10 for the Radeon RX Vega series because that's what this blog post and this video is about. So there's the Windows 10 64-bit and there's the Windows 7 64-bit. Windows 8 is not supported. There's also drivers for Linux and you specifically Ubuntu. So, advanced... Oops, my bad. Let me quickly display that. Let me quickly... God damn it. I got so many fucking... Come on. Come on. Oh, you know what? It's in the, it's in the main... I have so many sources now that... I just have to move this one up. There it is. There it is. So there it is. So you got the automatically detect and install your driver. I recommend that one. You can also manually select your driver. And then latest AMD drivers and software for the Radeon RX Vega series, Windows 10 64-bit, Windows 7 64-bit, and even Linux Ubuntu drivers. So... Advanced Micro Devices releases driver version uh, 17, 30, 10, 51 for the Radeon Vega RX series. Graphics cards using the Radeon software Crimson Relive Edition. Adios!